Welcome to Root TV Roundup. President Mohamed Wari has given security agencies marching order to deal ruthlessly with bandits, kidnappers and other security challenges plaguing the nation. Before starting the news in details, here's a look at the top stories. Deal ruthlessly with bandits and kidnappers, Buhari orders. Buhari's government reacts to Puka posters. Tukun Maja resident protests against the army hits day three. Nigeria's President Mohamed Wari has given marching orders to security operatives to deal ruthlessly with bandits, terrorizing Zamfara State and other parts of the nation. This strategy is aimed at kidnapping, banditry and other associated threats confronting the nation. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Lunishaki, discloses our briefing State House correspondent in Abuja. In a related development, the police force has assured Nigerians of its renewed commitment to securing lives and property. The police also charged the state commissioners of police to develop criminal intelligence and engage in community policing to neutralize all forms of crimes and security threats. The Inspector General Police has also assured Nigerians that the Kaduna Abuja Road is now safe and secured. In the meantime, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, on behalf of the government, has stated that PDP's presidential candidate, Atuka Bubaka, cannot become president through the back door. Mohammed made this revelation in response to the posters of Abubakar, which surfaced in Abuja with the inscription, The Puka, His Excellency Elijah Atika Abubakar, The Real and The Right. Like Mohammed also accused Atika of hiring a foreign lobbying firm to persuade the United States into declaring him the winner of the elections. The minister warned Atika to refrain from overheating the polity and instigating political crisis in Nigeria. Lai Mohammed made this statement despite Atiku denying all involvement with the controversial posters. It's day three of the protest by FCT indigents resident in the Tugung Maja area against the Nigerian army. The protesters have barricaded the entrance to the National Assembly, threatened to resort to violence and remain at the legislative chambers if their issues are not addressed. According to the protesters, the army is guilty of the forceful and illegal possession of their ancestral land. They one of the protests turned violent, leaving one dead and many others injured. They are now coming to our houses, yes, our farmland, yes, to pursue us like I swear to Almighty God. We swear to God. We will resist them. Yes, we Long will trust. resist them. Yes. Yes. yes, for now we will not no. carry arm. But if they want to train us to carry arm, we will go to them and learn how to carry arm. Yes. Yes. We will resist yes. them. Yes. Our leader have continuously said we should not be violent. We, we will not violent. We will not be violent. But as youth, only God knows what beholds. Yes, tomorrow. Yes. In the meantime, the Oni of Ife Obeni Togunusi said that without the Oracle Ifa Google would not have been created. Ifa is an oracle in Yoruba mythology which is believed to reveal divinity and prophecy to its worshippers. The traditional ruler, drawing similarities between Ifa and the popular search engine, also revealed that Google could be regarded as a modern way of sourcing for past and future information. According to the Oba, whenever you search Google for information or knowledge, you are consulting Ifa. The only who is the custodian of Yoruba culture and tradition called the Nigerians to embrace traditional worships peculiar to their communities. The revered monarch made this revelation to the press during a tour of Ilay Fair ahead of the conference on the impact of sustainable tourism development and marketing of tourism destinations on host communities. And now to top five business. Nigeria plans to double its manufacturing output to 20% of GDP within six years and will set up production hubs across the country in partnership with regional aid banks. The government has set up Nigeria SEZ Investment Company, which will finance industrial parks and special economic zones in the commercial capital of Lagos, southeastern state of Abia, and northern state of Kassina, while currently raising capital of $250 million for Nigeria's investment company. 
Nigeria's external reserve currently stands at $44.702 billion from $42.663 billion recorded on March 8, 2019. Month on month to date, the figure inched from $44.428 billion at the end of March, representing a $274.305 million or 0.61% in the period. In the meantime, the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority says the International Monetary Fund low ranking of Nigeria's Sovereign Wealth Fund was wrong. Lack context and does not truly reflect the position of how the fund is run. While the government is insisting that the debt levels are sustainable. Hopes of passing the 8.83 trillion Naira 2019 appropriations bill by April 16 were deemed on Thursday as the Senate adjourned till next Tuesday without saying a word on the budget. It will be recalled that the Senate President Bukala Sarakiad on Tuesday, giving the subcommittee to Wednesday 10th of April deadline to submit their report. And before we go, a look at our top stories. Deal ruthlessly with bandits and kidnappers, Buhari orders. Buhari's government reacts to Puka posters. And Tugun Maji resident protests against the army hits day three. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Roots TV Nigeria. I am Itobi Moore, Edit. Thank you for watching.